And welcome in on a Monday. Good to have everybody aboard. We got a lot to talk about today. Some of it's fun and some of it, I don't know. I almost feel like I'm going insane. But we're going to do a salute to service. Because I'll tell you, I break the balls in middays quite a bit, but I think they had an A-plus topic today. They really did. A-plus. We're going to get to it at 3 o'clock. We need to talk about relationship status with this baseball team. Because it's very easy for me to feel the way I feel, but maybe, maybe Team Gator has it right. It's want, a toxic relationship? No. You just can't quit her? Kind, kind of. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to it at three because, look, they're 10 games under 500, but they're only five games out of the worst division in modern baseball history. So hard to buy in, hard to not act like it's not somewhat relevant. We'll get to it. They took three or four from the Twins. I want to do it at three. I wanted to open this up because of the afterglow of Father's Day. I wanted to present you guys with something. It is very common for Rico and Kenny and David to paint me in a certain light. That somehow I'm unreasonable or somehow I am ice cold about things. And Erroneous. I, 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 I just listen. <laughs> something happened in the world of sports yesterday, though, and all I could think of was you guys. And maybe some of the audience going, wow, it's almost like Mike runs that team. And Rico, it's your Atlanta Braves. So I want to bring this to you. Do you know who was scheduled to throw out the first pitch yesterday on Father's Day? No. Charlie Culberson's father. Okay. Now, Charlie Culberson's a utility man for the Braves. Mm -hmm. He's been there for a while. Right. Well, Charlie Culberson's dad was supposed to throw the first pitch. That's pretty cool. On Father's Day, one problem. Three hours before the game, Charlie Culberson was DFA'd. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the Braves somehow found Michael Harris the second's dad and said, "Hey, pops, gonna need you out on the field." <laughs> so Harris Senior's out in the bullpen somewhere. <laughs> But I wanted to Can share. It I wanted to share this with you. <laughs> it's Father's Day. Charlie Culberson, who's a fringe MLB guy, is all excited. I'm gonna catch my dad's first pitch on Father's Day. Beautiful day in Atlanta. Three hours before the game time, he gets designated for assignment. <laughs> so I just is that what you imagine if I ran a team would be going on? You think I'm I'm going to ruin Father's Day? Stop it. You know what? Don't care. We need to win. This doesn't matter. We got to win the game. Culberson's a negative war player. I don't care if he has a father. His dad is too. <laughs> they both stink. <laughs> Look, it's a it's, it's a business, but the father <laughs> isn't part of the business. Well, Let him now. have his day. He is now. Oh, yeah, he is now, David. He's as the whip was too high. No, nope, we got to Nope, no. Nope, can't do it. He's got to go. Got to go. He's got to go. No, I, I just wanted to, to bring that up because, again, we're, we've got a load of Tiger stuff to do. We're, I, we have to talk about it. They took three of four. What I don't want to do is be pigeonholed into a short segment <laughs> when we got to do NFL. So, question. Yeah, buddy. So, Mikey, the owner, mm. would you have stepped in and said, nah, we, we, we can't do this to him. We'll send him down tomorrow. 100%. So, you would have stepped yes, in. Yes, I would okay. have stepped. Okay. It's Father's Day, for God's sakes. Okay. See, I, I just imagine. See, how does that conversation go? Thanks for coming out. By the way, your son's no longer here. But see, you're, you're welcome to throw the first see, pitch out. See, I, I see it as an intern or somebody was like, um, excuse me, Mr. Valini, sir. Well, you can't be all that surprised. Pre-show, he launched that kid out of a cannon who threw the ball back onto the field. Well, I was going to get to that, Kenny. <laughs> but no, I can just. I didn't like that kid, and I thought his brother had every right. It, this is the Red Sox game for people who didn't watch it. I thought the brother had every right to be like, what are you doing? Right. Like, the fan gets it, turns around, you do what you're supposed to do, you give it to the the, the, the smallest kid in the section. Here you go, son. I'm going to start your love off for this game. Thank you, sir. And back out on the field. I felt sorry for the dad because he now has one son who's like, why is everybody laughing at me? And his older brother is just completely lost it like, you idiot. 
He gave, and he just starts crying. And the dad is just like, where did I go wrong in my life? We were supposed to go to a game. I'll this tell was you supposed what. to be fun. Mike, you will not tell us where you went wrong. No, you won't. There are two nights in particular. <laughs> David, David, the, that poor dad was in absolute hell in that right. moment. And you know it didn't end after the camera went off of him. And he's probably thinking, and their mother's at home laughing. She's enjoying her day off. She's at the spa, and now I got to deal with these two crying. That's the whole reverse psychology of Father's Day I never understood. The fathers I know put up with Father's Day. They don't do – you know what fathers would do if they got what they wanted on Father's Day? Nothing. They wouldn't see their family. See, I've they often would be wondered. locked in a room alone in silence, There are pure solitude. But Mike, there are people that I know. Like for Mother's Day and Father's Day, I want the day. I don't want to see you guys. I deal with you every day. Mm. This is my day. You hang out with your father. Or you hang out with your mother all day. You do my job, and I'm going to go do nothing. Right. Uh, and I, to me, that's, it, that's 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 seems like the fun thing. I know people, oh, you want to spend time with your kids. You spend time with your kids all this time. Take a day for yourself. I, uh, I, I enjoyed watching that man stress. I did not. I loved it. I, he just, that, that was one of those want to get away commercials. I know. Right there. I know. <laughs> But yes, if you ever if he could have dropped his kids off at just at at Boston Security and said, you know what, their mother's gonna come get them. Well, best part, I'm out. I got a text from a buddy of mine yesterday, and he's like, I wished him a happy Father's Day because he 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 does a pretty damn good job balancing a very challenging professional life and and having a kid. So I sent him a nice text just saying hello. I hadn't seen him in a bit. Friend of twenty years. All he proceeds to do is treat me as his therapist then, and write five hundred words about how bad his Father's Day was. Now we're at my family's. Now we got to go to her family's. I'm exhausted. I, I, what, what are you doing? Literally, I was relaxing in the backyard. <laughs> I'm like having a great day. I took a picture of the sky. I got, I'm looking, staring up at the sky, wondering about life. I go, I'm, what do you want me to tell you? Well, you know, no, I'm just listen. I wouldn't do that to Charlie Culberson. That's the moral of the story. So you would not. No. See, that really does scream just like I'm not making fun of Duggar Scott today because I thought their topic was a master class in radio. See, I could see you actually doing that and then some intern telling you. What, the Doug and Scott part or the, no. the, the Father's Day thing? The Father's Day. It's no. Saying, you, you know his dad's throwing out the first pitch. Oh, wait, is he? Oh, fine. Keep them both. Bring him back. That's right. And then you just whisper in his ear, as soon as you catch the ball. Right. Pack your bag. Glove hits the mid. You're going. Pink Panther. Yank him off stage. Take the photo out with your dad. Frame it, because this may be the last time you're in a Braves yeah, uniform. He's not starting, but he goes right back in that dugout, and they never hey, see him again. By, by the way, by the way, David, who has all the kids, notice who was ornery when we walked in today. Notice who's not in a good place today. Oh, I'm in a great place. Yeah. I had a great father's Oh, day. really? What'd you I do? I did. Got What's... gifts. Uh-huh. Had a great service. Went what? to a USFL well, game. Your kids bought you gifts with your money. That's fun. <laughs> Um, <laughs> sure. Yes. David's like, I didn't really see it like that. But, but they, but they, but they got what I wanted. <laughs> David, this button is stopped. They Mike, got me Mike what I wanted. Glass for David, Kenny. The button is stopped. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're, we're good. They got me what I wanted, though. So I'm fine with spending my money on what I want. Oh, don't get me started. That whole idea of your family buying gifts with your money. It's not a gift at that point. I enjoyed it. Well, I'm sure maybe the mother gave them some money to go get your dad something. <laughs> It'll come through the same place. You enjoy this, Rico. More stuff for the griddle. That's oh. oh, that would suggest you actually could cook. Oh, I had a great. Uh, that's what I did Saturday. Mm-hmm. Used that griddle up. It was great. I w- w- I would love to sample. When does Uncle Mike get to come over? No one gets to come over. It's my food, my food only. See? No, no. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Wow. All right. Tigers at three. <laughs> Got some Pistons updates for you at four. I have a question for Rico here, though. It's a one-segment deal. It is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen in the sports world, and Rico is more qualified to answer it than maybe anybody in this building. It's a story that broke this weekend, and I need you to help me understand how it's even legal. We'll do it. Get a little football today. We got a wide receiver acting like a diva. And then, yeah, it's going to be a big dose of Tigers as the day goes along. Because I don't know what to do with this team. 
Like, I know they stink, but they don't stink, but they do. But the division stinks more than they do, but oh, they beat the Twins. And, but oh, then, by the way, you got the Kansas City Royals. Who, by the way, thank God for the Oakland A's because the Royals have gone under the radar, and they're every bit the blown diaper that the A's are. So we need to have a discussion about where this relationship is going at 3 o'clock, <laughs> courtesy of Doug and Scott, because I thought the topic was brilliant.